Hey guys, Adam here with a speed comparison of the brand new iPod Touch 5th generation versus the iPhone 5. So before I begin the actual test, let me mention a few things right off the bat. Number one, I have multitasking cleared on both devices, and I'm going to enter Safari on both devices, and I'm going to clear the history and the data just to make the test a little bit more accurate. And with that said, let's begin the testing. To start off with, I ran Geekbench on both devices. Geekbench is a free utility in the App Store, and it pretty much tests the overall performance of the device. And the bigger number, the better. So as you guys can see here, the iPhone 5 got 1463 versus the iPod Touch 5th generation's 625. And altogether, you know, this scores over double as high as the Geekbench on the iPod Touch. And you guys can tell the performance. So let's start off with the camera. Moving on to Safari, Twitter, Facebook, iCopter, iTunes. And finally, Game Center, and pretty much the point of this is you guys can see the devices load all the applications pretty much at the same speed. There's not really a significant difference in the speed on either devices, and that is some tests on opening of applications. Let's go ahead and move on to Safari. Let's go ahead and load up some various websites. Keep in mind, I cleared the cookies, cache, and history, and I'm connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So let's start off with going to Google, which is a simple website. And gadget. Apple. The Verge .com. And it looks like this is having some trouble loading the web page, but let's go ahead and click view on the Verge application and see which one loads up the App Store quicker in the application. Next, let's go ahead and shut off the two devices and then turn them on, see which one can perform those tasks quicker. All right, and shut off. And it looks like the iPod Touch was slightly quicker. And now, once the iPhone 5 turns off, let's go ahead and turn them back on. And for some reason, the iPhone 5 is taking a little bit longer to shut off. Not really sure why, but that's something interesting to note. Let's go ahead and turn them back on. And it looks like the iPod Touch did turn on a bit quicker than the iPhone 5. A significant difference in the speeds on the two devices. However, the Geekbench score on the iPhone 5 was a lot higher, meaning in some more intensive gaming and all that, the device will probably run a lot you know, smoother and quicker. However, in day-to-day -day use, you guys probably will not notice too much of a difference. Anyways, guys, that's my speed comparison. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like rating down below, click the subscribe button above, and thanks all for watching.